Oh, that was so frustrating because I know I can beat this guy, no problem. Welcome back to Fights in Tight Spasses. Uh, last episode, in case you didn't watch it, spoilers, we got spanked real bad. Uh, I think my problem was I had way too many motion cards and not enough uh, hit hard cards, but that's all right. Uh, let's do a new game here, another classic plus. I'll go as this version of Agent 11, the, the dude. Uh, let's kind of go through the same thing here. So let's see here. Balance deck is a good mix of offense, defense. Head Smash is actually pretty cool. Push, Quick Strike. That's all good stuff. Uh, Counter Strike I really don't like. Um, I really don't like the defense-based stuff in here. Uh, Slasher is a lot of bleed. Bleed could actually be pretty fun. Uh, Grappler actually kind of sucks because late game there are enemies that you can't grapple. And then what's Trickster? Less conventional stuff. Grapple, push, or down, wall kick. It's kind of cool. Quick attack. We got a slow bleed to my card though. I think I'm going to go with the slasher deck. Let's do some bleed. Uh, we've already done the training, so we kind of know what we're doing. Let's go fight some Nordic Viking bikers again. All right, men's room. Not supposed to talk about what happens in here. So I got a guy that's going to pop up here. So let's do this. I'm going to swap spots with this guy. He'll still turn to face me, but that's all right. I'm going to quick scratch him, which will just give a uh, five bleed. We're going to shift. I find the most effective strategy, or the most effective strategy that I've seen in this game. Oh, hang on, I want to think this one through. So if I jab the guy, gain a momentum. I'm going to swap positions with him. He's going to deal six damage. So a counter stab will protect me. And then I'm going to deal a caltrops to everybody, which just deals two bleed. Oh, wait, that guy got knocked away, so it didn't even matter. I'm going to shift. No, I can't shift. Well, let's gain a plus one damage modifier this turn to start things off. You have six health. So a slash is going to... You're done. And that should be it. Ooh, I actually killed two for that one. I'm gonna move up towards this guy. I'm gonna puncture him. Damage 15, that's only gonna deal six. He's only gonna deal five, so what I'll do is I'll do a counter stab. No, he's actually gonna push me. So it's best to just kinda shove him out of the way. This is a jumping stab. Advance and deal three damage to a, a target up to two tiles away. 
at three bleed if the target has no block. He's got no block, so let's uh, hidden blade deal of four and scratch. He just straight up has 13 bleed on him, so if I end the turn, he dead. I do like the quick kicks. I th think I'm gonna not do the right spin kick this time. I'm gonna do the quick kick. So these are both gonna give the same reward, money and a card, but I would want to go to the gym. I think, yes, I think I wanna go to the gym. Okay, I figured it out here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heavy strike this guy. No, I'm not. Actually, yes, this'll work. I'm gonna heavy strike him. And then I'm gonna just move off to the side. some room. I'm going to, I think I'm going to front kick. Yeah. Gut shot. I think that's pretty much it. This guy's going to go Ooh, this will be kind of fun. Check this out. So this is the a hidden blade, so the next attack deals four bleed to a target that has no block. And then I'm going to do the three punch combo, which will deal uh, four bleed three times. I'm going to do it on this guy. So he's got 12 bleed. I swap with him. I should now... No, I'm going to take damage. Shoot. A uh, quick jab on... Actually, no, I think I'm going to grab the free movement here. Jab this guy. Shove him over there. And turn. Oh, I did reach a five combo. Nice. Oh, I'm at six. Holy crap. Uh, so you're going to attack first, so... I think I'm going to free movement and caltrops. Not getting like a good draw. That'll deal nine. So this or bleed. Plus then the front kick into the wall. Oh, you would have been dead anyways. Uh shift. Do a quick snap strike. You, I just got to deal 8 damage to you. Oh, buddy, you're in trouble. A front, so I can't use this because he's not two away. So if I give him a little bit of the front kick here, a little bit of that there jumping strike, boom. I love this game. Like, absolutely love this game. 
The art style is really cool. It's I like deck builders. Nerve damage. That's kind of cool. Actually, I'm just going to take a straight up slash. Cards do I have in my deck? I've got 13. That's a pretty good amount. Let's upgrade a card. That's good. Strike costing one actually is really good. I like to prioritize cards that cost less. I'm going to call it energy. I know it's not called energy, but I like to prioritize upgrading cards where their upgrade is going to make them cost less energy so I can use more, so I can do more movements in a single uh, game. Free movement here. Hidden Blade. Uh, Map Strike. He's got four bleed on him. Scratch. Oh wait, roll that back. I messed that up. I messed that up real bad. Okay, free movement. Hidden Blade. Do the snap strike then do a scratch you got nine bleed on you and I'll just move off to the side you've got eight bleed on you you're gonna go second okay If I heavy strike you, you're just dead. I think that's going to be my best bet there. Just eliminate him. I need to start getting bleed on the bigger guy. got blocks so I don't want to slash right away. Ah, oh, damn it. That's only going to deal three. Alright, so what I'll do... Work through that block. Uh, slash him. I'm going to be in a corner here and I don't like that, but I don't have a choice. And I move him. He can't be down, but I can move him. Good. Let's puncture him. So that bleed is going to ignore block. Bummer, but alright, let's just front kick him away. And no problems. I could do something like this. Front kick him. Do the big old jump and stab. Now uh, he's got seven bleed. All right, and sure enough, we are beginning to wear him down. Oh, 
Oh, frick. Glad I didn't mean to click, but whatever. So this one's gonna hurt. Alright. You've got eight bleed and eight health, so you're dead. So I can focus all my efforts on you. Heavy strike. Snap strike. And you're dead. It wasn't pretty. But it's at least done now. I'm going to take the heavy strike. I like the heavy strike. I think that's a good, just a good move. Oh, there's a maximum momentum reward here. I'm going to take that. What are the cop steals again? Will auto attack. So if I don't get out of the way of him, he will just auto attack me. Problem solved. want to get the cop out of the way here. I will in blade and front kick this guy. And we'll shift. That's a good. That's good. Ooh. Straight up 10 damage to that guy. That's nice. Strike for the damage, additional damage modifier. Jumping stab this guy. Now I want to lay into this uh, security guy. bleed. That's three bleed. Oh wait, two and two bleed. Let's see how they do this. If I do the three punch combo, you're just dead. For you, my friend, Actually, no, I think I would rather do the slash. And then I'll shift. Nice. And I'm out of danger, relatively speaking. Only choice is the front kick here. And then just move off to the side. I didn't play this one very well. The bleed deck is a little slow, but I guess it's fine. And you're dead. Close the gap with a jumping stab. Then, oh, heavy strike him. Boom. That's a gut shot. I do like puncture, just straight up deal bleed. If I can't upgrade one of the big cards. 
Ooh, yep. That's good, that's good. Recycle club, okay. Fight. So, welding guy. What's your range? Short range attack. So you have nine shield. Before I can even think about doing anything, I have to get through your shield. Let's puncture. That's gonna ignore your block. Yeah, I'm not able to get through his block, so that was kind of a waste of a move. And I played this really stupidly. Hold on. Let's front kick you. So you're no longer... Oh, you can still hit me. Nope, you can't. Puncture just for a little bit of bleed. Swap. Done. Step one, advance towards him. Hit him with another puncture. I just can't get through that block. Let's free movement here. I'm gonna... Th he shot you. I'm gonna heavy strike you. Broke through your defense. Unfortunately, I don't have any bleed, so that doesn't do me a lot of good. And if I shove you off to the side here, you'll get a shot off. No, you won't get a shot off. Why not? I can't go and attack him because I can't take afford to take that gunshot. Damn it. Snap strike. Heavy strike. Shift out of the way. And end turn. I want to kill this. I want to kill this guy. He's been, he just cost me a really big attack on the head honcho. I want him dead. Good. Puncture, you're dead. Snap strike. Got two more energy left. Oh, yeah, dude, you're just... Your situation is just damn unfortunate. Alright, now it's me and the welder. And of course, I get all my bleed cards that do me literally no good. Oh, he's only got 16 health left. Ooh, and I got the bleed because I think I, yeah, I broke through his uh, defense. So I was able to get the bleed off. That's frustrating. I keep getting shitty draws. 
like all my big damage cards to get through his blocker and like then there they are finally after I can't complete the fight in eight turns anymore. That was just a shitty draw. Like I just kept getting shitty draws on that one. Now I can stack big block up on him. Or big bleed up on him. Oh, that was so frustrating because I know I can beat this guy, no problem. I'm going to skip. I think this is going to give me a health up if I do the objective. Take less than 10 damage. All right, let's see if we can't do that. Wow, that worked out really well. I, I'm gonna snap strike you. I'm gonna shift next to this cop here. And then I'm gonna just unload on him because he's the real big threat here. Oh, and I got to double dip on their damage, nice. I can't believe that actually worked. Shift behind him. And he's just dead. Like, he's just straight up dead. No, he's not, but he will be very close next turn. I can basically ignore that guy. Because he's going to die of his bleed. So I'll just Caltrops, shift behind him to gain better position. Maybe do a quick jab on that guy. Oh, right. That's going to give me an extra ener energy. But he's got four bleed on him now. Heavy Strike's going to kill him and eliminate him. That's what I want. I want to front kick this guy. And then just shift out of the way. Hidden Blade to give me some extra bleed. I'm going to stab him. I'm gonna slash him. And then I'm gonna shove him. And I just reached the eight combo there. Woo! That last little shove is what did it. I didn't think it would, but that last little shove is, is what did it. And let's take this event. Uh, you encounter a mob doctor in exchange for not turning you, him in. You get a surprising discount on their service. Oh yeah, let's heal. Uh, shoot, this is kind of a waste, but... Alright, last, last part on this level. So the bleed deck doesn't appear to be, for me anyways, isn't quite hasn't quite popped off yet. What are my goals and objectives for this one? Complete the fight within eight turns. All right, free movement. Oh baby, this one's gonna hurt. We're gonna hit and blade, three punch combo, and he's got 12 bleed on him. Oops. 
I didn't realize that he will turn to its turn to face me. So let's try this again. Hidden blade. The three punch combo. Twelve bleed. Shift. So now he'll did eleven damage, ten damage. So I'm gonna heavy strike him. Do a slash. I'm just gonna move off to the side, no problems. Oh, I can just kill him this turn. Straight up, just kill him. Snap strike for the plus one damage. Heavy strike him. Uh, front kick. And I won this level. Handedly won this level. Ah, oh, this is such a good game. Oh, what should my next enhancement be? I don't like that. I don't like Deadly Deal. Um. Ooh. I like that. So, I'm gonna start the next level. Just because otherwise it's gonna kick me back to that final boss fight and I'm gonna and I'm gonna have to redo it. But um thank you all very much for watching the series, and uh, when we come back next time, we'll see how far we can get on this one. Until then, guys, be seeing ya.